This is my review of the Blood Orange Drift Series wheels. I got the 70 millimeter 78A version and this has very quickly toppled over the uh, Venom Sideshows as my favorite free ride wheel. Uh, the Venom Sideshows were awesome. They still are awesome. I skated them the other day and had an awesome time. Uh, but what they lack in, you know what, fame lines, I'm gonna say it, uh, and versatility, uh, these make up for it. Uh, being 78A, these are more functional over a wider variety of surfaces, uh, more consistent, I find. Um, and, you know, just being softer is more comfortable. That's not uh, difficult to describe to somebody. Uh, a couple things just out the gate that I'm a big fan of. Um, one, I, the 70 millimeter size is just a size of wheel that I really enjoy. Uh, I think getting anything smaller isn't exactly worth it. Um, that's just my, my general feeling. And I think if you're buying a smaller wheel, uh, either you seriously have issues with wheel bite or you're trying to optimize for like tricks and agility. Um, if you're doing general free ride though, I don't know why you would get anything smaller than 70 millimeters. Um, I've been astounded by the durability of these, uh, despite leaving thane lines on the ground. And they do, for me, consistently leave thane lines. Um, I've had, uh, you know, a ton of hours riding these wheels all over the place. I think I first skated them in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, and that was just so good. Um, I was riding the Venom Sideshows actually during the session. It was uh, the, the Grapevine Outlaw where I was free riding them. And I took off the Sideshows and put these on uh, because I, I was feeling the Sideshows weren't handling some of the rougher parts too well and they were a little bit on the grippy side. And I had so much fun skating these on Grapevines, skating these down Elk. Uh, a great first experience with these wheels. Um, Kind of aside from performance and just going into aesthetics, uh, I love a white wheel personally that comes from my background as a street skater. Uh, for some reason, street skaters, we just love white wheels. I can't explain why it's, but street skating's just about fashion and trends. And so I fall right in there. I like just a classic white wheel. And I really like that the profile of this wheel is unique. Uh, you know, it feels like over the years we've had all sorts of free ride wheels come out and they all sort of, you know, they fall into the same categories of shapes, especially when you have this style of core, you know? You've seen this core a million times on other wheels. So I think, you know, this might be uh, slightly different than um, other similar cores. Uh, not that I can visually tell or remember. Uh, but the profile of the wheel, the like, the appearance of the sharper lip, the radiusing, um, I just really like whenever gear is quickly and easily identifiable. I really like the new Zealous trucks for this. Uh, the fact that they came out with their just raw uh, silver and green and the like bronze uh, brown colors. Uh, I like that it's visually distinct. Um, of course, the 2020 Rojas uh, are extremely easy to identify like that. Uh, what else? Um, certain decks, you know, the like happy board company decks with their unique uh, pores, the unique urethane. Uh, rails and things like that. Anytime a gear has something that stands out where you can identify it quickly in a photo or a video, uh, I think that's a, a big characteristic. And the fact that these leave fame lines and have their unique uh, profile and lip shape uh, is pretty cool. Um, the slides on these wheels are phenomenal. They are so smooth. Um, they're very easy to slide. Uh, just based on my experience with the 78A and having no experience on the 81A, I personally would not buy the 81A Drift. Uh, that's gonna be a little just too floaty for Owen's taste, too on top of the pavement. 
Uh, the 78A is already plenty floaty, plenty on top of the pavement, uh, without fully leaving you uh, without, you know, I don't know, it's, it's not floating on top of the pavement in a numb way, it's floating on top of the pavement in a just extremely comfortable way. Uh, you know, I, I feel like some of the Powell Peralta products uh, can feel a little bit numb in slides, uh, and I don't get that sensation with the Blood Orange, dri blood orange Drifts. Um, a, a big complaint that I had about the uh, their previous uh, wheel is that the Morgans are so slow. They're made of the just like slowest, lowest rebound formula ever. Um, that has its benefits in very specific scenarios, like over rough pavement, having a low rebound formula can kind of help absorb bumps. Uh, but the slowness was really hard to get over and made that those wheels not worth skating below a certain millimeter. Uh, these wheels have great roll speed by comparison, uh, right on par with anything else in the market. I have no complaints about the roll speed with this wheel. And that was really, honestly, what I hoped to see the best of out of this wheel. Like, you know, the most improvement I wanted to see coming from the Morgans is that I wanted to see them be faster because that's the most insufferable thing about skating Morgans is once they get below 60 millimeters, I don't want to ride them anymore unless I'm on just the most insane steep hill. Uh, yeah, drifts are really good uh, for a long time. Um, you know, I've not had a Thaney wheel that lasts as long as these, but also Thanes consistently. Um, now the Thane is not super bright like you would get with a clear Thane wheel, you know, uh, or like the Morgans, it's not super thick, uh, but it is easy to see where you've gone. I can still, you know, look back and see where I've slid. Uh, basically every time I've slid these wheels. Uh, I have not ovaled or flat spotted these wheels yet, but I have been relatively uh, careful with riding these. I haven't uh, made too many mistakes in my memory while skating these. Uh, if you're a person that has a tendency to flat spot or oval wheels, I have seen other people oval these and flat spot these. Uh, so they're not completely resistant to it. You know, any wheel that feigns is not going to be resistant to that. Uh, so keep that in mind if you struggle with flat spotting your wheels. This is a pretty expensive wheel. Uh, and even though it has good durability compared to other fainty wheels, it's not the best durability compared to wheels in general. Um, so I, I would not necessarily recommend these to beginners, whether you're beginner just to sliding period or beginner uh, stand-up freerider, unless you're confident about your ability to avoid 90 blasting these wheels, or at least willing to accept the risk. And honestly, it might be worth accepting the risk because these just feel so good. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure you've seen other people have opinions on these online, and if you're like me, anytime that there's overwhelming uh, positivity about a new product, you get skeptical. I certainly was skeptical. The uh, overwhelming positivity about these on launch, uh, and subsequently as people have had their hands on them. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're worth the praise. Uh, are they worth $70? Are they worth $75 US dollars? That's a very tough question. Uh, but for the quality of product you're getting, I think it is, you know, right up there with other wheels in that price point. Um, they don't last as long as maybe some of the other wheels in that price point, like you would see with snakes. Uh, now the interesting thing is that it seems like the new snakes, the, what is it, 82A snakes, the blue and the yellow snakes, don't last super long, and they might actually be comparable to these Blood Orange Drifts now. Um, so maybe that means it's competitive. Um, I don't know. Uh, if I were to run out of free ride wheels and need to go looking for a free ride wheel that I could take anywhere uh, today, like I had a trip in a week that I needed to prepare for, I do think I would buy a Drifts. 
if I, you know, if I wanted to get something that I knew would work well, that I knew I would enjoy, that would be fun at an event with some fame lines, um, I, I think I would suck up the price tag and get these because they are just so good. They haven't let me down yet. Um, and that's after, you know, skating the Venom sideshows, which I've seen on sale on Mirror Skate and Motion Board Shop for 50 bucks, uh, almost ever since they released. Uh, and I freaking love the sideshows. Uh, so discounted sideshows are really hard to, to compare with these. Uh, I mean, they're easy to compare in that. I love both of them. The sideshows are going to last you longer, give you more bang for your buck, but the hardness does make it difficult to ride it under certain conditions, and that's where these 78A, 70 millimeter drifts start to shine. Uh, personally, I would stay away from the 66 millimeter ones unless you have a specific reason for buying those, like you need them to be lightweight, like you really struggle with wheel bite on your deck. Um, and I personally would avoid the 81A altogether, but that's my opinion without having ridden them. And that's just for my taste in wheels. I like a wheel with a little more pushback, a little more in the pavement. That suits my style of riding better. But maybe the 81 would be good for you if you're already used to that style of wheel. And I, you know, this is a little more in the pavement, a little more resistance. In the grand scheme of things, this is still a very slidey free ride wheel. Um, I don't think anybody would struggle with these in the same way that they used to struggle with Morgans in the past. I mean, notably, Blood Orange Morgans uh, had a lot of resistance and that really surprised people that would see them on the internet and think that they were a more slidey wheel than they actually were. Uh, that's not at all the case with these. These just float. And uh, I've enjoyed them. I will continue to enjoy them. I still have a lot of meat in these and their roll speed is still good enough that I'm going to tolerate them for a while longer. And I'm just about to start to get to the part of the wheel where the contact patch starts to get narrower uh, and the uh, resistance is going to start to change now. Uh, but they've been extremely consistent up until this point and I wouldn't be surprised if they remain consistent to the core. So. That's all I have to say about these wheels. If you're curious what's going on next to me is I'm 3D printing uh, a bash guard. Uh, I've got a baggie of them here. I'm preparing to give these out to my Patreon supporters. Uh, after a few months of supporting me on Patreon at my B tier level, uh, I send you a little thank you box of, uh, of goodies. Um, the bash guards are just part of that. You can check out the video linked in the description to see some of the other parts I've been designing and printing. I've come out with some more versions since then, upgraded, updated things. Uh, I'm constantly fine tuning my process as I go here. So I'm proud of that. A ton of content on Patreon too. Uh, thank you to all my Patreon supporters listed here. And to all my YouTube viewers, I'm always gonna put my best content here on YouTube, uh, like the long-term reviews. Uh, so stay subscribed, stay liking the videos, and I appreciate you all so very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.